Hey guys, this is Garen again from Tarot Wellness. This week, we're testing the EMF radiation levels of devices you all requested. On the list, we've got iDevices, Wi-Fi routers, smart meters, hybrid cars, and even tanning beds. But before we get into specifics, let's first briefly discuss what EMF exposure is and put our little experiment into context to help you understand what it means for your health. So EMF stands for electromagnetic field, which, as the name implies, is made up of electrical and magnetic forces. EMFs occur naturally at levels that aren't always harmful. The cells of our body and our planet even produce a natural electromagnetic field. For context, if you were to go on a hike far away from cell phone towers and Wi-Fi routers, you'd experience about 5 to 20 millivolts per meter, or 0 0.005 to 0 0.02 volts per meter. There are also, however, artificial EMF sources generated by most of our modern day technology, which can range from 0 0.02 volts per meter in strength up to and well beyond 44 volts per meter, as we'll see later. In this video, we'll take you from the weakest to the strongest source of electromagnetic fields. We try to take the recordings as close to the source as possible. But keep in mind that the strength of the field drops as you increase your distance. For those that care to know, the field is inversely proportional to the distance squared. To put it in another way, when you double your distance, you quarter the strength of your exposure. So with that, we introduce first the weakest emitter of EMF radiation on our viewers' request list, the tanning bed. We actually tested a standing tanning bed, and there are probably all kinds out there. But the one we tried had the lowest EMF output max of 2.5 volts per meter, which is about 125 times the ambient EMF field experienced in nature. Like all the devices we tested, the EMF field fluctuates, and you should consider your distance from the source and the duration of exposure when forming your own conclusions about the safety of these technologies. I want to make it clear that we are not measuring UV or ultraviolet exposure that comes along with tanning bed lights. UV radiation sits on the opposite end of the electromagnetic spectrum above visible light and has different properties, whereas the devices we are testing are below the visible light spectrum. Next, we have the hybrid car. Like most hybrids, the car we tested uses gas when power is needed to accelerate. So we made sure to take readings at a nice cruising speed when the gas engine had audibly shut off. We noticed our EMF detector reading fields that topped out around 4.2 volts per meter. That's at least 200 times the background EMF readings you'll experience in the middle of the woods. As you can tell from the video we recorded, the numbers can also drop to about 0 0.01 volts per meter. Third on our list is the wireless router coming in at about 6 volts per meter max at the source. 300 times nature's background levels. This number will vary according to your internet usage. The EMF strength is highest when you're streaming movies or downloading any other large files. The lowest readings we saw for this device were still above 0.6 volts per meter when no one was online. Next up, smart meters, which you can find on the side of any house or apartment complex. The smart meter we tested registered a maximum of 9 volts per meter and dropped to as low as 0 0.02 volts per meter. From time to time, your meter sends electrical company a reading on your house's power consumption via wireless communication. This periodic transmission accounts for the EMF radiation that is at least 450 times what you'd experience in a device-free environment. We should note here 
that a wall of smart meters, like the ones found at the end of an apartment complex, didn't actually result in a higher maximum EMF output. Instead, we noticed that the peaks, as you might guess, occurred much more often. So, instead of dropping to 0.02 volts per meter as a single meter does, we saw readings dropped only to 2 or 3 volts per meter and more frequently jumped to 9 volts per meter. Our second to last device is actually a group of devices, your smartphones and tablets. We first tested an iPhone 6 when it was connected wirelessly to a router. We got a max output of 12.9 volts per meter when browsing the web, 1.7 while streaming audio, and 11.3 while streaming video. Turning the phone on also resulted in a large spike in EMF emissions. Now, if we turn off the phone's Wi-Fi connection and try these same tasks, you'll notice that the web browsing results in a 50% higher maximum, 19 volts per meter. Streaming audio without a router emits more than 11 times the previous amount, and streaming video reaches a max of 22.7 volts per meter twice as much as before, over 1,100 times greater than nature's above background EMF. Before we move on to the last device on our list, I wanted to note that when we tested laptops and compared the streaming levels, we only got a max reading of 0.6 volts per meter for video. So perhaps consider watching streamed content on your laptop over your mobile device. So finally, the worst offender of all was of course the household microwave, which peaked at 44 volts per meter. Sadly though, this is only twice the output of my iPhone while streaming video without a Wi-Fi connection. In fact, the microwave often hovered around levels similar to the iPhone's max values. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. My hope was to give you real-world results and a quick overview of some of the common devices in your lives and how they influence your body. The results of exposure to this kind of EMF radiation are still forthcoming, and some claim inconclusive. However, the Scientific Panel on Electromagnetic Health Risks recommend in 2010 that EMF exposure be limited to no more than 0.25 volts per meter. But with knowing where microwave oven sits on one end of the spectrum and natural environmental readings sit on the other, you'll be able to gauge for yourself what is harmful or not. If you want more information on the matter, you can check out some of the links we've provided below. If you found this helpful, please help support this and future user requested videos with a like and subscribe below. And if there is a loved one you know who could benefit from this information, please share it with them. You can find other helpful clips on my channel and know that we'll have plenty more healing, helpful, and love-filled videos to come.